From the Sunshine State, Florida, home of Dutyville, USA, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here he is, Buffalo Bob Smith. <laughs> Moms and dads, tell me, what time is it? Okay, gang, let's go! Peanuts and hi, howdy. Oh, ho, hi, Buffalo Bob, and hi, Peanuts. Hi. Well, you know, Peanuts, we're having a Dutyville laugh-a-thon. And that means we're about to begin another show full of jokes and comedy sketches and funny songs. You're right, howdy. Now, so far, I just happen to think of this. We've had schoolroom jokes and music jokes and show business jokes. We've even had barnyard jokes. Remember uh, Clarabelle with a chicken? Yeah, but gosh, <laughs> Buff, it seems like we've covered every subject. Yeah, but now look, talking about subjects, right now we have a, a more serious subject. And Happy Harmony is going to introduce to you a very special guest. Peanuts, we've had a lot of special guests here in Dutyville, but today we have a guest, two guests as a matter of fact, that you're gonna be delighted to meet. Let's have a warm welcome for Smokey Bear and Ranger Don. Well, how do you do, Smokey the Bear? Oh. Ooh, what a welcome. And welcome to Dutyville. Welcome to Dutyville, Ranger Don. Say, um, I was just wondering, what brings you to around Dutyville area? Well, we've come to talk to the Peanuts a little bit about forest fire prevention and Smokey's ABC. Oh, let's hear about them. We want to talk about always preventing fires. One that you might think about are being careful with matches and make sure that matches are out when you're using them and make sure that parents don't leave matches around the house. Also, we want everybody to remember what Smokey says about campfires. When you're out camping, make sure those campfires are dead out that you use water, that you stir those fires out real good so that Smokey won't have to come back and check them for you. That's good. Don't forget, too, we've got to crush out all those particular smokes that you see in the fire. Right. They've all got to be out, and we've got to be careful when we're burning trash, too, Happy. Smokey's very particular about people that burn trash. What can we do about trash? You've got to clear a circle around those trash burning piles and make sure that everything's out when you leave it and that you have water nearby in case you have to put a fire out. Well, gee, that is a lot of good advice. Say, Smokey, maybe you could tell us what else can all the peanuts and their families do to become even more aware of preventing forest fires and any kind of fires? We want all the peanuts and everybody at home to ride into Smokey Bear and his headquarters in Washington, D.C. and become a junior forest ranger. So that's Smokey the Bear headquarters in Washington, D.C. Right, we'll send them a kit and some fire prevention messages. And remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Ah! Ooh, that's right, Peanuts, and you write and get your information. Let's have a big round of applause for Smokey Bear and Ranger Dog. Thank you. Well, we're back with our Dutyville Laugh-a-thon. And today, Peanuts, our show is in a jocular vein. Oh, hey, hey, happy, happy, oh, hi, happy. Flop. I, hi, Flop, hi. I can juggle eight balls, one for each animal. And that would be in the juggler vein, no? <laughs> oh, Flop, see, you're confused. You are thinking of a different word. You're thinking of jugular, jugular vein, which is right in here, you see. But what I was saying was jocular vein, which means a joking vein. A joking vein. Right, that's what I said. Right, that's what I said. Flubber dub. Rubber dub. I mean flubber dub. <laughs> You're echoing everything I say. You're echoing everything I say. I think that's flubber dub's way of telling us that he'd like us to sing the echo song. The echo song. <laughs> okay, flub. We'll sing it if it'll make you happy. Happy. Yeah. 
happy. Yes, Flub? No, no, I'm not calling you. I'm just echoing you. You said if it makes me feel happy, and I said if it makes me happy, and I'm just echoing you. Don't you even know how an echo works happily, Hermily? Oh, I'm sorry, Flub, but, well, here's your echo song, and the peanuts will show both you and I just how an echo works. Are you ready, boys and girls? Go ahead. You be my echo while I sing this song. Tra la. Tra la. Tra la. Tra la. Whatever I sing, you just echo along. Yo ho. Yo ho. Yo ho. Yo ho. The echo song is like a game that anyone can play. Whatever I sing, you sing it. One more time. Far away. Now listen to me while I'm singing my song and echo right along. Are you ready? Skadoodle. Skadoodle. Skadaddle. Skadaddle. Kadoodle. Kadaddle. Kadaddle. don't believe in echoes. I think an echo is just an illusion. You think you hear it, but you really don't. I believe that when somebody stands on a mountaintop and shouts, he just imagines he hears his voice coming back. Ugh, I can't stand superstitious people. Whenever anyone tells me he believes echoes are real, I merely say to him, get lost, you gloop. Get lost, you gloop. Get lost, you gloop. All right, all right, all right, all right, I'm going, I'm going. Ah! Now, how's this pose, Claramel? Oh, I'm covering Howdy. <clears throat> Moving a little closer. Okay, is this better? Okay. How's that? Good. You like is this it? better? You like it? In a little closer. Okay. Oh, gosh, Buffalo Bob, that sure is a tremendous camera. Big isn't, isn't it, though, Howdy? And you know something, Claramel made it all by himself. And you know what I'm thinking? What? We'll take this great big photograph and we'll mount it outside above the entrance to the studio on like, like a big billboard, huh? Oh boy, oh boy, I, I'm getting stiff from posing so long. Yeah, when are you gonna snap it, Clarabelle? Now, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Good, he's got it. Well, how okay. long is it going to take to develop it? Yeah, how long before we get it? Two, two days, good, that's fine. Oh no, shorter, uh, oh, two, two hours? Good, two minutes. Uh, short, two seconds? Well, then it should be ready now. Let's take a look at it. Ah. Uh, oh, no. That's the little bitty dinky picture that you took with that gigantic camera? I thought it was going to be so big that we were going to hang it on the wall, like a poster. Oh, oh boy, that looks more like a, like a postage stamp than a poster. Well, well, let me see it. Well, it is a, it is a nice picture, but Clarabelle, it's, it's, it's kind of small. Yeah. Hey, Liz. This sure I'm making a big fuss over that picture, don't you think so? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's your name? Audrey. Audrey? Gee, that's a nice name. Well, wouldn't you like to get a look see at that snapshot? Yeah. You would? Me too. Say, Claire, Lil, why don't you show that picture to all of us out here? But, Carmel, it's too small to show to the peanut gallery. Well, it sure is. You'd have to pass it along from one peanut to the next. Well, well that'd please. take all day. Yeah, it's But, ridiculous. Buffalo Bob, yeah. we could show it to all the peanuts at home. Oh, you're right. Oh, uh, cameraman, uh, could you just uh, bring your camera in a little closer, please? As close as possible. See, this is very tiny. A uh, little closer. I... Uh -uh. No, no, no good. It's just a big blur. Claire, but look, there's only one way you can show that picture to the peanuts. We'll have to blow it up first. That's a good idea. Yeah, we can blow it up and then... I say we can blow up the picture and then we can show it so that everybody can see it. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Then. And if you blow... <gasps> Perfect, you don't blow it up with a firecracker. Haven't you ever heard of blowing up a photograph? What? Oh, you have. Oh, he has. Yeah, he knows. How? No, you don't blow it up like a balloon. Look, forget it. Give me the picture. I'll take it to Corny Cobb. He's got some photographic equipment. He'll, he'll blow it up. Oh. 
Uh, listen, uh, while we're waiting for Corny Cobb to blow up that picture, I'll fill in a little time here with a little song that I wrote. On this show, I have sung many songs that I've written myself, and I must say, I've received thousands of letters about my songs, and I want all of you letter writers to know, threats don't scare me. <laughs> so I'm gonna sing this song anyway. Oh, why, oh, why does everyone admire me so much? Oh, why, oh, why do... Oh, uh, Peanuts, it's time for a, a short break. We'll be right back. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't even get started. Wait, wait, I promised all my fans I'd sing this beautiful... Hey, no, no. So I'm Tommy Turtle, and they sent me out here to make a very important announcement. And this is it. Uh, Our laugh-a-thon continues. Oh, yeah. Our laugh-a-thon continues. Uh, Our next scene. Our next scene. Uh, takes uh, place. Yeah, takes place. In, in Mr. Cobb's prop room. In, in Mr. Cobb's, uh, where? Where? In Mr. Cobb's prop room. Oh, yeah. In Mr. Cobb's prop room. <laughs> Thank you very much. You will go. No, 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 no. You're supposed to say thank you to them. Oh, oh, thank you to them. Oh, boy. You're not very bright. Oh, you're not very bright. No, oh, golly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very nice picture of you and Howdy and Good, Happy, it? but uh, it's a very teeny tiny snapshot. Yeah, well, that, of course, is why I brought it here. See, what? I figured maybe you could uh, blow up the picture so it would be large enough so that all the peanuts at home and in the gallery could see it. Oh, I can do that easy. Uh, how big do you want it? Well, um, how big is your enlarger machine? Oh, I don't have an enlarging machine at all. You don't have an enlarging machine? No, no, no. Well, no. What, what I've have? got, you see, yeah. is this here enlarging fluid. Ah. I invented this mixture of chemicals and things that make anything bigger. Now, Corny, yeah. I know you use chemical fluids for developing and, and printing pictures, but how could fluid make a photograph bigger? Easy. Come here. I'll show you. What? Look. Come here. Fluid? Yeah. Make a photograph bigger? Right. See, that's my rinsing fluid. Rinsing fluid. That's my other fluid. Oh, yeah? This is the... High speed developer. We just put in there. This it's, is the enlarging. Thing. It, it's all. It's already enlarging right now. Oh. Tell me, how big do you want it? Oh, about as big as uh, probably that picture over there. Oh, dig busted! Why didn't you tell me sooner? Why? Oh my goodness! It must be getting huge by right now. I'll find it in here because this oh. stuff works really fast. Well, Corny, if yeah. it got real big, certainly you could find it by now. That's true, but I. I gotta have it. Unless, of course, it didn't get bigger. No, wait a minute, Buff. It's gotta be, this thing works. It works, wait a minute. It, that ain't possible. I give you my word of honor ah. that. What is, oh no. Oh yes. Well, I'll tell you, that certainly enlarges things, doesn't it? Oh, my goodness. Corny, I gotta apologize. You sure deserve credit for coming up with a fantastic invention. Kids, let's give Corny a great big hand. No, huh? no, 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 I... don't bother. I already got one. You know, there's a word for a person who continually cheats and gets away with it, and that word is genius. Uh, Mr. Bluster. Hello there. I want you to know that your nephew, Petey, is no genius. What do you, you mean? See, I just gave Howdy and Petey a test, and his answers are the same as Howdy's. Well, isn't it possible that Petey studied just as hard as Howdy did? Oh, uh, Mr. Bluster, the tests were on different subjects. Oh. And on this question, you see, Howdy wrote, I don't know the answer. Yes. Petey wrote, me neither. Uh, be, 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 be. Well, uh, be, uh, listen, a at least Petey's answer was honest. He didn't know either. I hey, come to think of it, Petey doesn't know any answers. Oh, wait till I get my hands on that kid. I'll make him hit those books, or those books will hit him. <laughs> Oh, hi, diddle, diddle, we love a riddle, and we think that riddles are grand. Now, we hope a kid will ask us a riddle, and if you know one, raise your hand. All right. Oh, you've got one right here. 
Clarabelle, this little fella has one right here. What's your name? Danny. Danny, what's your riddle? Um, why does... Why is the barn so noisy? Why is the barn so noisy? I don't know, Danny, why? Because the cows have horns. Because the cows have horns! <laughs> All right! Now, honey, you had your hand up. Okay, what, what is your riddle, Dolly? Why the orange stop in the middle of the road? Why did the orange stop in the middle of the road? I don't know why, honey. Because it ran out of juice. <laughs> <laughs> juice! How'd you like that, huh? Gee, that riddle was grand. Who knows a new one? Who'd like to do one? If you know one, raise your hand. You know one? Okay, Clarabelle, right here. What's a pickle that can whistle? I don't know. What's a pickle that can whistle? A piccolo. <laughs> a piccolo. That's terrific. Clarabelle, right down here, his hand was up too. What did the tablecloth? What did the tablecloth say to the table? I don't know what. I got you covered. <laughs> hey, Bob, that was a great one. Ah, oh, good going. Oh, hi, diddle, diddle. We liked your riddle. Gee, that riddle was grand. Now who'll tell the last one? Make it a fast one. If you know one, raise your hand. All right, this little girl first, Clarabelle. What's your name, hon? Michelle. Michelle. And what's your riddle? What's black and white? And it has a cherry on top. Black and white and has a cherry on top? I give up what has? A police car. A police car. OK, we have another one here, Clarabelle. What's your name, Sonny? Toby. Toby, and what is your riddle? What's gray and lights up? What is gray and lights up? I don't know what is. An electric elephant. Uh, <laughs> an electric elephant. Well, now I've heard everything. Electric elephant. <laughs> ah, kids, you are marvelous. Did you know what, Happy? Hi, diddle, diddle. Those were the riddles. And they sure deserve a You, uh, you said that you had a riddle for me, didn't That's you? That's right, Buffalo yeah. Bob, and here it is. All right, what is it? If we go away, when do we come back? Now, what is that again? If we go away, when do we come back? Oh, well, that's easy. We come back right after this. <laughs> You know, gang, I think the Lapathon is going just great. Our big problem is, though, what are we going to do next? Hey, Buffalo Bob. Oh, Buffalo, yeah, Jackie? That problem is solved. Why? What do you got? I've got this swinging comedy tune that we're going to do that's going to be a gas. Yeah, well, I, I was thinking of doing a funny skit. Well, I thought know, maybe we could take this and be a good funny skit with my comedy. Now, for instance, I could do I think a funny skit with you. Now, wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. You know what our trouble is? Seems that no one can agree with anybody today. Now, that's not true, Bob. Well, you want to do one wrong. thing, you, you want to do something else, and I want to do something else. Thing. If we, we can't agree with each other, that would be the best thing. thing. Now, you might have a comedy song, but I don't know what the thing was. What's all the noise about? It just blew my neck. Look, look, we're sorry, Mr. Bob. Yeah, we're sorry. We're sorry. We were just arguing about what we should do next on the show. Now, wait a minute. As mayor of Dutyville, I will decide what happens next on this here Dutyville Lapathon. Oh. And what happens next is me. You. Yeah, me. Singing the song that I wrote. Not that. That you wouldn't let me sing before. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Now, go on, go on. Get lost, all of you. Go on, what? Well, Phineas, I'll tell you one thing. If you're going to sing, I can assure you we'll only be too happy to get lost. Right. Come on, gang, let's get lost. Hey, now, you lucky peanuts and bluster fans all over the world, here is my song. I call it my song because it was written, uh, rotten, uh, written by me. Uh, Jackie Davis, uh, give me an Arpeggio or a Dimaggio or whatever you call it there. 
Oh, why, oh, why does everyone admire me so much? Oh, why, oh, why do people think I'm groovy? Oh, can it be because I happen to be so good looking? Can it be they think I should star in a movie? Oh, as a star, I know I would be the hottest, despite the fact that I'm always shy and modest. I'm diligent, intelligent, I ring your chime, so I know they will put me on the front cover of time. I'm so clever and critical and charming and witty and talented to boot. <laughs> the peanuts all love me because I'm so gosh awful cute. <laughs> I'm spiffy and snappy. I make people happy wherever I go. People cheer, cheer. I'm not cruel like Nero. I'm everyone's hero. You people are lucky. I'm here, here. Oh, why, oh, why does everyone think I'm divine? And I must say that's not only your opinion, it's mine. That's not only your opinion. That's not only your opinion. It's my opinion, too, because you see, I love, 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 love me. Even in Siam? Now, PJ, how would you know what they're thinking in Siam? Well, I speak Siamese, you know. You do? Well, PJ, maybe you could teach me to say something in Siamese. I'd really like it. All right, you would say that to me. Okay, I'll say whatever you say. Here we go. Owa. Owa. Tagu. Tagu. Siam. Siam. Now say it all together. Okay. Owa tagu siam. Oh, good, good. Do it again. Do it again. Owa tagu siam. Do it again, again. Owa tagu siam. Owa tagu siam. <laughs>